Slugs allow us to set the title of your page content in the URL. This is actually a fairly new feature for Bubble. In the past, we were setting the unique ID in the URL, which isn't that great for, your, for SEO and it's not very nice to look at. Fortunately, we now have this ability. Let me demonstrate. So here I have a blog post. And this is the slug here, which is the title. The page title is slugs, but this content has a title and is called Becoming a Freelancer in 2020. How did I achieve that? Let's first have a look at the content. Here we have a field called slug. Now this only works if your page has a type of content set. Type of content for me is a blog. And the slug of my blog is set in this piece of content here. Why don't we create another one? How about becoming a bubble developer. Now I'm just going to copy this because before I do that, let's have a look at the workflow. Here's my pop-up and on the create button, let's say create a new thing. So it's a new blog post. Let's set the title to the input. And then we need a step two. So we can't set the slug here. We need something created first. So step one is create. Step two is set a things slug. Thing to change is the result of step one. And the slug you can set to the input as well. Now these have to be unique. If you find that you are repeating slugs, what's going to happen is Bubble will look at how many times that slug exists and it'll add a plus one to the end. So it will be called becoming a freelancer dash one or two or three, depending on how many duplicates you have in your database. And that's all we need to do. Bubble takes care of the rest in terms of formatting. And I'm going to hide the pop-up. Let's try that. So copy and paste that, becoming a bubble developer. Notice the capitalization and the space is here. That's fine. If I create, let's go into the database, refresh the data. And here I have a new row, becoming a bubble developer. And you can see the slug here. It's changed everything to lowercase and added the dashes perfectly. So now I can copy this. And if I paste it in this section, then it changes the page source and there is a title. So go ahead and set slugs whenever you have page data, whether it's a person's profile page or a blog content piece, or whatever it is in the instance that you have page data. Great for SEO, human readable, it's really what you need.